Hey everyone, um, just uh, over to well, Dick, first of all, Dick from uh, Big Boys Bushcraft. I was just over to uh, Callis, Maine. I was across the border there and I was filling up with gas and and I thought, oh, I'll go to Walmart and check out, see what they've got for um, clearance items in the fishing department. They had uh, actually quite a few good things. But um, as I was walking through the camping section to see if they had anything on clearance as well, I came across this guy. When I came home, I did a search on YouTube, and I haven't found a review on this anywhere, or any mention of it anywhere. I believe it's a brand new product, because just last night, I did a search on the, the Walmart website for Dutch ovens, and I couldn't find an Ozark Trail one. Um, the only thing I could find, really, was the uh, Lodge ones, which they had there as well. You're not going to believe the deal I got on this. This guy... He's a 4.7 liter, um, so it's a good size Dutch oven, and it was only $17.97. And that wasn't a sale price either, that was their regular everyday price, there was no sale um, sticker on it or anything. Um, so let's open it up, I haven't even opened it yet, and take a look and see what uh, she looks like. Now I said that they had the large ones there as well. Now the large ones, everybody knows is a, is a good Dutch oven. They were a little bit bigger. They're a 5.7 liter, so they're um, a liter larger. But this is exactly what I need. Because the other one I got, well, or if you go by quarts, this is a uh, five quart um, Dutch oven. Now, the other one I have that I, uh, if you've seen in my videos before, that I did the ribs in, that's a two quart. It's really too small for my needs. So, let's take a look at this puppy. Good and heavy. Got a good, nice, thick base on it. It's pre-seasoned, they say, but I'm going to season this anyway. Um, I'll uh, <coughs> wash it all go uh, all up good with some piss detergent and um, give her a real good scrubbing. Dry it out, then uh, put some of my own oil on it because I'm not sure exactly what to use, and um, give it a. A couple of good um, seasonings, and she should be good to go. And see, so we got the lid here as well. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. It's a perfect size for what I need. That probably weighs about. Geez, I don't know. Fifteen pounds or so, maybe, maybe twenty. Anyhow. The first new look at it, the first look at it, and oh, I'll give you, I don't know if I showed you the inside or not. We'll flip her up and take a look. She's fairly deep. It's all up to there. So it's about three inches deep or so. Um, do they say how wide it is? Let's see here. Will they give us the dimensions. Doesn't seem to, other than the uh, total volume. 5 quart, 4.7 liters. But, uh, looks to be about 10 inches across, or well, 12 inches across, I'd say. Yeah, so this is going to be a great. Um, so now I'm going to start doing some more Dutch oven uh, cooking videos. Anyway, I just want to bring that to your guys' attention in case you happen to be at Walmart and you want to stop down in the uh, camping section if you're in the market for a Dutch oven, they are usually very expensive. But this is a very good budget um, deal on a Dutch oven. <clears throat> I'll, um, like I say, I'll be using it, so if you want to hold off um, and uh, see how it works out for me, um, then yeah, go ahead. But I'm sure this is going to be just fine. It's very similar to um, a Woods um, Dutch oven I used to have years ago that cost me quite a bit of money. And I have no idea where it went. Um, I think it got pinched. Anyway, um, until next time, I'll see you then.